I'm back. I feel like it's been about two years. It's been, I don't even know how, it's been like three weeks or something, hasn't it? I feel like I always do this and I do upload into bit. But do you know what? This is the thing. Like, this is just fun I do this for. So, like, I don't fear beat myself up for, like, not uploading frequently because it's, I mean, it's just a bit of fun, you know? But, anyways, here we are. Me, not on the floor. Round of applause. So, basically, I don't actually have a chair in my room. Um, I don't know why. I just don't, never, I just don't have one. But, um, I was down the stairs and I thought, oh, I'll just use it down in, down in the table. Table? Table dining room chair that we had out it was in the shed and it was out for some reason but i'm gonna use it for ballet later anyway as my ballet bar so it's fine how have you all been i feel like it's been ages it has been kind of three weeks yeah hope you all are well and good but today um i just have a little haul it's not huge it's kind of small um but it's basically because i had a massive clear out and i put lots of stuff on depop and stuff my depop is here by the way if anyone wants any, I put everything up really, really, really fairly cheap just because I want rid of it because it's more for like, clear out purposes so I could order some new things and I, can, uh, I got something from Zara and then I did a wee sheen order because I've not ordered from sheen since the summer and I keep seeing people doing sheen hauls and I was like, what did I need to do? I need to get some stuff. So let's just start. So I put everything in this big Zara bag because I got one thing from Zara and look at the size of the box that came in. It's bigger than me. Let's get started and let's get right into it. So, oh, I've got some things from H&M as so, well, but that I'll get to that in a second. I'll start with that actually. So basically, I had a gift card that I got for Christmas and I totally forgot about it. And I thought, oh my god, I'm just gonna use that. Getting into jewelry again, like I feel like I was like years ago, and then I just totally stopped. But I've I've seen that I've not even got a lot of jewelry on, but you know, yeah. So I got this necklace, right? Which actually is double layered. It's not that long. It's double. Um. Yeah, anyways. Oh, there we go. I think that's it. It's it's like that, right? But it's got wee beads in it. How sweet is that? I thought that is actually adorable. And like, do you not think like colourful like beaded jewellery is pure coming back in again? Very like two thousand early two thousands and I'm all here for it. Um so yeah, how sweet. Very cute. I've got pair of, I've got a pair of leavings in actually. That'd be really cute with that. Oh I could put this on. But how do you do it? Right, so there's one. Then what do I do with this? Put it in my I feel like that's not that's not how you do it. Anyways, that's really cute. I don't know how to put it on, but I'll get to that in a moment. Next I just got these trousers I thought I all you know I order clothes. I don't I, and by the way, fun fact, I don't order clothes often at all. Like I don't really spend a lot of money on clothes and I don't know why I like I don't know, I just never ever buy clothes. And if I do I buy like one or two things at a time, I never do like a big order. That's probably the biggest order I've did since like summer, like 2020, I'm like, I'm kidding on, like I don't do big, big orders at all, so this is kind of me, but I really needed to do, that was overdue. So I just got these, like, they're kind of like a stone colour, and they're like joggy material, but they're like trousers, they're like kind of flares. This is, being small is not great when you're trying to do this. So, yeah, they're just kind of like flared trousers to be fair, but they're like a kind of joggy, comfy material. Just like that with like a wee white top or something would be really cute. And like a wee shirt or something over it but yeah they're really that's like really comfy really cute or like see those zara bodysuits like the white a white or black one with that really cute we'll do the sheen stuff next i'll do the zara i'll do the sheen stuff so i've got quite a few bits from sheen i wasn't looking for anything in particular i was kind of apart from this top actually no not this one one i'm getting to in a second also can i just talk quickly before we start talking about clothes again um, I've been loving see Ruby and Ruby and Molly's sister sister podcast. Oh wow, you really need to, you just need to watch it. They upload every Thursday on Spotify or Apple Music or whatever streaming service she is. Um, on a what day is it? A Thursday at three pm or something. And oh my goodness, their podcasts are unreal. They just make you feel so like comfortable. I don't know how to explain it. Do you know how like you get things like when you watch them or you listen to them like they automatically like, give you like pure comfort vibes their podcast does that and they did one a few weeks ago and it was like all for the girls and it would talk about like girl issues and stuff um and like period horror stories and all that stuff things that like make us better when we like make girls feel better when we hear them so i highly recommend that um and i well i watch every single episode over and over again because there's like they've got like seven episodes up there now 
and like every day without a doubt when I go a walk in the morning with the dog I like listen to like at least two so yeah okay so anyways speaking of Zara these are the real like Zara racer back tops this is very similar to them I already have two I've got a black one I've got like a nude one so I've got this I've got this brown one um it's just like the kind of ribbed racer back plain top I've actually already tried this on it's really cute on very comfy that you can't go wrong with these you can wear these with anything literally um yeah and they're literally only a couple pounds so i mean that's a bonus and then got these leggings which i didn't really intend on them to match but they kind of do match but they kind of don't because they're not really the same shade of brown but i feel like if you wore them with like something over it like as like a zipper or like a like a wee shirt or something a, a wee shirt is my answer to oh wow oh, it's my answer to all the all the theories here apparently but I can't go wrong with a wee shirt um, I got these leggings which had like um, unreal reviews people were saying like these are like my go-to gym leggings these are the leggings I wear slash buy and they were literally again like I, I don't even know how much they were like very cheap so I don't buy they come up from that. so it's just they're inside out also let me just fix that a second um, these are also not the same material as the wee top but again I feel like when, when it's on you probably wouldn't really notice that much um, because these aren't ripped, these are just like normal leggings. And I did look for like, if you want, every person will know the like ribbed like cord from Zara, but it's like literally impossible to get. So, yeah. So, they're just like brown. Well, they look, I'm not doing them any justice at all. I tried one actually, really cute. They're just like brown kind of gym leggings. You see that? I'm going down today as well, actually. So, yeah, they're just like brown gym leggings and they're so comfortable and like really, really comfy like a nice soft like it's like a gym legging material but it's like soft it's not like that what's that word like that kind of not like that but like that do you know what i mean that sort of feel it's not like that obviously as you see there's two different colors but i feel like if you could probably still pull it off like that with that with like something over the top i don't know which would also need to be different shades so like imagine maybe not this because this is just a bit too different but like imagine like a kind of nudie tone like that do you know what i mean I feel like that could work with like something like a shirt this colour or like a zipper or like a wee crop hoodie or something. I don't know. Something I think would work with these and then like long white night socks and then trainers. Just giving these all my ideas. So yeah. Well that was really cute. Uh, again, two different totally different colours, which I didn't realise this is kinda more of like a ready tone than these, but still cute nonetheless. Oh yeah, I've been going on like morning walks recently, which I'm really enjoying. I didn't, I'm not really a walking person. I don't really like on walks to be fair, but like, I started taking the dogs out walks in the morning. The dogs, the dog. I only have one dog, singular, not plural. Um, me and Fudge have been going out walks in the morning, and Fudge is literally lazier than me. Like, she, like I literally need to wake her up to go out a walk. So like, my classes usually start about like nine or ten. So we've been getting up at like half eight and going at nine, or if my classes are at nine, I'll go like half eight. Um. And we go like a nice few walk, um, and yeah, like she pure loves it because it's really quiet in the morning, and I feel like she can just like she just can run up like can pure run about and stuff, and she pure really enjoys it. So I've been doing that, and it actually makes you feel like really like woke up and like it really wakes you up and you feel like awake and like ready for the day, because like yeah, I just feel really like ready when I do that, you know, ready to start the day and like. I feel like I've just got things done already even though I haven't because usually I would like get up at like 8 or 9 and lie in bed for an hour and like sit on my phone if you do that that's sound too to be honest just however personal preference isn't it but I've actually quite enjoyed it and I never thought that I would so that's why I mentioned that okay next I got right I got these earrings which I've been looking for for ages not from Shane just like a pair of like thick gold hoops like but wee small ones so that's them there when I look at my nails oh dear that is tragic can you see that yeah, because that's not cute. So, can you see them? They're just wee gold hoops, but they're like really small. I don't have a second hoop. I don't have a second, um, I don't have a second piercing there where I just showed you them on. Um, but they're just kind of basic wee gold hoops. These were very cheap. I don't know how they'll be in the ears. Because I know some people have like really sensitive ears, especially with like cheap like gold. I'm just going to try this out. These were like four pounds or something. But I've been look I don't know why they're so hard to find because everyone has them so I don't I was like how I don't understand how they're really difficult to find because like everyone has these but yeah so I'm gonna give these a wee go um because they're just so cute and see when you got like your hair up and like the wee like 
clip and stuff I think I think they're just adorable so got to put them also that is fine watch that again I know I want to try to find on ASOS or something similar to this but I'm speaking so fast so if you slow down I can actually feel myself um this wee ring you see it it's like marble this bump um it's like marbly I don't know if you can see that very well you can probably just see my hideous nails that I've tried to disguise the fact all my gels have came off so I've put like this like um iridescent like pearly like no it's just not the one but yeah it's just like a wee brown it's one of those wee chunky like resin rings Alyssa makes these by the way um but hers are a lot of them are sold out so I need to wait for her doing like a wee restock in the sizes and stuff so I can get a few of hers too but yeah got one of these wee chunky ring very cute like, okay this was the one thing I actually was going to order from Sheen but like there's no see when you do a Sheen order there's literally no point in just getting one thing you may as well just do like an order because like if you spend over 30 pounds or something you get free shipping or something I don't really know how it works but yeah this was the one thing I actually went on to get because PLT do these and I couldn't, I couldn't get it and I tried a few other places and I wasn't able to get it so I got this wee top and this will not do it justice unless it's on so I have to like need to find photos or anything like that so I can't really even show you and there was no way I was doing a try on haul because that is just too much yeah too much effort so it's just a wee plain black top what is going on here right a wee plain black top a wee crop but then it's backless and it's got like a wee tie at the back and you just tie it how sweet is that and then like so like backless and then the wee bow at the back and then that and just like something plain on the bottom gold jewellery would be a winner I thought it's kind of it looks quite see through but it's actually not when it's on like it's you're totally fine wearing this obviously you can't like well I mean you could but like you can't wear it like anything underneath it really because it's backless but yeah it's a kind of cottony material it's not like the stretchy like is it nylon I feel like I'm making all these names up and I'm going to get slagged really enjoy that that's the one thing i actually was looking for because i'd seen someone like done a, a like a story haul and they'd got one from machine so i thought oh i'll try my luck there so yeah okay this top is actually adorable now it's actually like a brandy melville top obviously it's not brandy melville because it's not the perfect machine but um which i never knew because i'd seen them on D depop and i was like oh my god like they're actually so 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 cute and I was like, where should you get them? And yeah, everyone would say, like, Randy Melville, whatever. But again, one of the ones, because it's quite high demand. So it's like, oh, something that I... Quite hard to get. Because all the Depop posts I'd seen was, like, sold out online, blah, blah, blah. So, here we are. And I actually saw a machine. Lol, come at me. Everyone, go get your dupes. Right, I'm sorry. How cute is that? Look, it says cowgirl on it, and it's got to be... <laughs> How cute is that? I actually can't deal with that, it's adorable. I'd been seeing them everywhere, I was like, where are people getting these? I managed to cop one, so cute. It's the wee, oh, what do you call them? She looks like a, um, a wee cabbage patch kid, kind of, not really actually, oh, well, not really, That's, I got that all wrong. Right, Joe, this is really weird, because this isn't what they look like, at, like in the slightest, like, they don't look like this. Remember Sylvanian families? If you know me, you'll know I was obsessed when I was younger with Sylvanian families. It gets me really Sylvanian family vibes, even though they look nothing like that. Like, Sylvanian families are like little like, animals, so they don't look like that. But I don't know why, when I seen that, I pure got Sylvanian family vibes. Anyways, see as well, see Sylvanian families, see if you had them. Like, I took a lot of pride in mine. Like, I had mine like on this like glass like shelf thing um, when I was little, and I was like, and like they were all like pristine like everyone was like and like in order like see people and like see i knew people as well who had them and they'd like pure they'd like swap clothes and all that so like they'd get like one of the wee people and they'd, like swap clothes with another one and i'd be like oh no why like oh no like why are you doing that and that would make me like actually like, panic because i was like no like all mine literally wear as they came so if it came with a wee pink dress on with something on the feet that's the way it stayed until I didn't play with them anymore like I didn't change a thing about them and everything was just so I didn't even play with them I just liked them to be sitting there looking nice and on a, oh my god this is so embarrassing I'm gonna admit this but I was younger so it's fine um 
I was so like, I took it very seriously. Like, I was very passionate about Slovenian families, and I had I was in like the membership, and I got like a magazine every month, and like one one month like I got my photo taken. It was in the magazine, cause it was all cause my my setup was top notch. Fun fact: this was I only got in things out of, and it was a blazer. Uh, I've never I've li literally never owned one since I went to high school. That was the last time I wore a blazer. I really wanted one, but I wanted like a oversized like dad blazer. Sort of thing. I didn't want I didn't want like a fitted one that was like kinda of flimsy. I wanted like a structured one, if that makes sense. So I got this. Don't know if you can see it. Just a blazer from Zara to be fair, but it's got like the shoulder pads and all that in it. So it's like squishy there. And it's just oversized. It's really cool. And it like buttons here and there. Because a lot of the ones I'd seen only had like a, bu a button in the middle and they were like quite like, like the shape, like they kind of like curved in just to give you a bit of shape. But I didn't want that, I wanted it just to go straight down. <laughs> so that's why I got like a kind of, uh, what is it called on the website? It's like oversized black dad blazer or something. It's something like that, I'm not really too sure but you'll be able to find it on Zara. Eve. So this is the first thing I actually ordered on like the Zara, like I got it on the app because it's a bit easier to navigate, but the Zara website is very, very, very difficult to to work, I think, personally. Maybe I'm just a bit, a bit stupid, but like, I prefer like buying things from Zara and like in store 100% because I think it's actually quite difficult. Whoa. Does that look cool? But this is really, really cool. I actually, I only, it actually does have one button, it doesn't have to. It's just really big. So what actually inspired me to get finally get a blazer was because if you know, if you follow or like subscribe to Sophie and Ella on YouTube, I'm sure you all do because they're so cool. And um, they're like the year below me, I'm sure. You're why doesn't I, I refer to things in like high school years like a year younger than me? Oh my god, they're just so cool and like they're just so cute. I just love them and like their Instagrams and like their style. Wow, and they've been like that for years. Like I've like followed them for ages. And I'm like, how did you just happen? Like, even when they were like 14, 15, that sounds pure creepy. I'm saying, I'm pure saying that, but like, I'm like, they just, the, the things they wore, I'm like, these are so cool. Like, I don't even thought of wearing things like that. Like, they're just really cool. Anyways, and they've got a YouTube channel, by the way, so you should go subscribe to them because, yeah, again, content goals. Um, but it, um, one of the girls, her name's Ella, and she had this like lovely blazer on, and I thought, oh my god, like, I need to get a blazer. Um, Cause I've been wanting one for ages and then I seen her and I thought I need to do it. I need to get a blazer now. So here we are. Ella, thanks for inspiring me to finally just get one. That's my wee haul done. It was very small. Well, not really very small, but small. Um, But yeah, I love everything I got and I'm happy with things I got. Everything fits me. Like Sheen sometimes can be quite funny with your, with the sizes and stuff, but like honestly it was a dream. Everything fit perfect. Um. I've maybe see the length of the leggings but that's not like a fault of theirs that's literally every single pair of leggings I own are like that because I'm short and I've got these short legs. I had to get a few bits because I just sold a lot of stuff or like just put things on Depop or like gave things away to like family and stuff because I genuinely like I had to have a clean out and I think see sometimes like see if you're like you're feeling a bit like ugh, like a bit lucky or whatever like having a clean out literally works wonders because you just feel like it's, it's you just feel so much you feel really fresh after it, like getting rid of everything. Um, it was things I wasn't wearing anymore, or things I'd wore once and I knew I wasn't going to wear again, or things that were too small for me, etc. etc. So, yeah, my Depop, I'll link it again here if you want to go with me. No, putting things, I just love putting things on Depop, I think it's so much fun. Like, I'm not, I get, oh, what is that? Oh, it's a fly on the wall. Gee, that was a bee. Um, yeah, I just, I just think it's so fun putting things on Depop, and it's just like, it's like a wee business thing, it's just so cool, it's fun. Um, but yeah, I'm not like, it is just kind of for like clear out purposes just to get rid of a lot of things. Um, oh my god, story time though. So basically, I did like a deep, I put lots of stuff on Depop a few months ago, and then the things that didn't really sell, I just put up the loft. And I thought, right, if anyone wants to buy any of those things, then I'll just go up and get it again. That was a palaver because. Then a few weeks ago, people out of nowhere just started buying all this stuff off my account and it was like all stuff that I'd put back up the loft and I was like, oh no. So then I, I was like, right, Jessica, 
like we took up the loft and I really struggle getting up there by myself because my auntie usually does it for me and like I don't know I'm just too small to reach the I was on Jessica's shoulders I got the big wee thing that you get the latch like the thing down with that was fine I got up there fine got all the deep up things I needed and then wrapped them up got them ready to post that was fine and I couldn't get it shut me and Jessica tried everything I was on her back I was standing on her shoulders I was with Elsie up there nothing was really working I thought oh my god if we just broke the loft I was like, please don't tell me I've just broke the loft, it's a Monday afternoon, like that can't be happening right now, I've not just broke the loft. We broke the loft. <laughs> that's great, that's always good. Because Manti was still at work, and I thought, oh my god, she's going to be so mad. So I was like, right, we'll just, we'll, we do, we'll be dead every ounce of housework. The house was gleaming when she came in, she came in, she was like, oh! And we were all just sitting there like, oh, I've got an issue, oh, what is it? I was like, we can't get the loft up, and she was like, and she was like, oh, it's fine, I'll get it fixed. And I was like, and then we were all just like, all that hassle for nothing. We were pure panicking, thinking we're going to get rid of it. Whatever, I mean, it got fixed. Uh, so I mean, it's not really a big deal. Yeah, but all the things is now back down from the loft. So if you do buy anything from a bit further down, that's not a worry anymore because I do have the things. But yeah, I just like, I just love having a clean out and do you know what else I love? I know that's just so sad, but I just love packaging all my wee orders and like putting a wee note and the wee sweeties in them and I'm just like, oh it's so cute. Because I like put a wee note and I put like some sweets in and I make it all nice. I, I use this pink wrapping paper and all that and oh but the other day, I ran out of it like the other day and then someone bought a few things and I had to wrap it up with Christmas paper because I didn't have any of the pink one left. That's okay, it's fine. But yeah, that's pretty much it. So I'm still posting things on there every few days because I'm still having a clean out because yeah and that's kind of why I didn't really mind buying stuff. I'm on a tangent here aren't I? Um, because obviously I made some money from that so I thought oh, I'll just get a few wee bits then to kind of like fill up the gaps that I've now created from just throwing everything out. Yeah, it's been lovely. I feel like I've had a lot of catch up. It's been really nice. Um, But yeah I hope you all are having a lovely week. It's currently Wednesday. It's Wednesday today. Um, and I've got off and I've been really productive and I'm getting all this stuff done for my classes later, which is good. College. Let me know, by the way, I feel like I've, I've obviously not done a video in ages, so I don't really know what people even want to see. So, if you have any video ideas, hit me up. We can get some vids, new vids filmed. Um, yeah, but thanks so much for watching, as always. If you made it this far, I'll always say that, because I feel like sometimes I might bore people to sleep and they're gone by like 10 minutes in. Um, but yeah, I've really enjoyed myself filming this today. It's been a good time. It's nice to sit down, not on the floor, sitting up. Um, make sure to like and subscribe this video if you had a good time and subscribe for more vids. I promise it won't be as um, MIA as last time. That was a bit too long, but I just generally didn't know, didn't know what to film. And I, I wasn't up for just filming for the sake of it when I knew I would, I would end up hating the video and it just wouldn't have been my best. So I thought I'll just wait until I find something that I want to film and then I thought oh that's a perfect opportunity a wee haul and I love watching hauls so also message me if you want to know where like where like how to find any of the things and I can send you the links because sometimes it's quite hard to find especially on Zara it's bloody hard to find things on Zara so. um, but yeah thanks so much for watching guys and I'll see you in my next video hopefully bye